Hello friends, Democles Rocha here. Today we are going to divide 5412 in 6 equal parts. If you support this initiative, give us a like and if you would like to know about our next video, subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell. Let's get started. I start by looking at this first digit here. Since 5 is less than 6, I do not start yet. I group it with the next digit. Now we have here 54. 54 is more than 6 and then I start by asking the question. What number do I multiply by 6 to get 54 or almost 54 but not more than 54? The number we are looking for is 9. We see here that 9 times 6 equals 54. So I write 9 here. Since 9 times 6 equals 54, that's what I write here. And then we do an easy subtraction because 54 minus 54 equals 0. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit, which is this one now here. Whenever I bring down a digit, I have to ask the question. What number do I multiply by 6 to get almost 1 or 1 but not more than 1? Taking a look at the multiplication table that we have here, 1 times 6 is 6, which is more than 1, so the number we are looking for now is 0. I write 0 here, 0 times 6 is 0, that's what I write here, and then we have an easy subtraction again, because 1 minus 0 is still 1. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit, which is 2 now. Now we have here 12 and I ask the question, what number do I multiply by 6 to get 12 or almost 12 but not more than 12? You know that 2 times 6 equals 12, so the number we want is 2. That's what I write here. 2 times 6 equals 12, that's what we have here. And then we subtract, 12 minus 12 equals 0. Since there are no visible digits to bring down, since we have nothing here, so this is it. And we can say now that 5412 divided in 6 equal parts, each of these parts are equal to 902 and there is nothing left over. So the quotient, the result of this division is 902 and the remainder is 0. If you want to check your work, you can multiply the divisor and the quotient, get the product and then add the remainder. By doing all that, you are supposed to find the dividend if your work was done correctly. This is it for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, leave a comment with a smiley face and share this video. I hope I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.